Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tipple from here bringing you another Minecraft Forward 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Churchill Mark III. The Tank Infantry Mark IV A22 Churchill was a British infantry tank used in the Second World War. Best known for its heavy armor, large chassis, with all-around tracks with multiple bogies, its ability to climb steep slopes, and its use as the basis of many specialist vehicles. It was one of the heaviest allied tanks of the war. The origins of the Churchill's design lay in the expectation that war in Europe might be fought in conditions similar to those of the First World War, and thus emphasized the ability to cross difficult ground. The Churchill was hurried into production in order to build up British defenses against a possible German invasion. The first vehicles had flaws that had to be overcome before the Churchill was accepted for wide use. After several Marks or versions had been built, a better armored specification, the Mark VII, entered service with the British Army. The improved versions performed well in the later stages of the war. The Churchill was used by the British and other Commonwealth forces during the North African, Italian, and Northwest Europe campaigns. In addition, 344 Churchills were sent as military aid to the Soviet Union during the Second World War, and more than 250 saw service on the Eastern Front. The version we have in front of us is the Churchill Mark III. 675 of these were produced, and the Mark III was the first major armament overhaul of the series, eliminating the whole howitzer and equipping the tank with a more powerful Ordnance QF 6-pounder gun with 84 rounds. It also had a new welded, uh, cleaner-looking squarish turret, uh, which was the kind of staple turret that was used um, for all the Churchills from later on. And lastly, the main uh, noticeable difference is it was the first one to have the fenders or the uh, quote-unquote catwalks over the upper tracks to protect the tracks from um, shrapnel or artillery rounds and stuff like that. Uh, but overall, it's Churchill here is one of the most iconic British tanks really of the Second World War. I mean, when you think of a British tank, Churchill is probably one of the first ones that pops in your head. It's very iconic for what it was and a very unique design for the time period and was a pretty uh, pretty big beast of a vehicle during its time it served. Um, so with that, uh, let's go ahead and jump in here, taking a quick look at the Churchill Mark III, and obviously we'll go from there. So starting off with, we have that 75mm uh, uh, gun here, or the 6-pounder gun. Um, so pretty nice stuff there. And as you can see, we do have the whole mounted gun eliminated. Uh, we have a driver's viewport there. Obviously, the whole mounted machine gun is still um, there as well. Then we have the uh, sighting here on the tracks, so the side panels and the top panels that go over the top and all the detailing here on the back fence and then we have the um, you know extra fuel tank there on the back which is again more kind of an optional add-on but something I chose to do and we have the tracked wheels here which has all the little bogey wheels on it to give it that um, really good uh, train navigational ability uh, but overall it's a really straightforward build churchill itself really isn't too complex of a build so it should be a pretty easy one and it will be a great build to add to any of your uh world war ii maps and pretty much any of the campaigns really um this tank could be president so with that let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layers all right guys so going ahead and moving into our first layer here we're going to go ahead and start off with layer number one for layer one to get started with we're going to place down another brick upside down stair like this and right behind that we're going to place down another brick slab right behind it we're going to go ahead and then place down a second narrow brick stair coming off that and then another narrow brick slab. We're also going to place down an item frame on the side of the slab to the outside here, a green terracotta block in the item frame and a dark liquid sign on the side there of it. Once we have that done, we're going to take our nether brick blocks, we're going to place down one, uh, one and two across, so row two, and we're going to go ahead and build this in the ground going back. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have nine of those blocks or rows of two in the ground like that going back. We're going to go ahead and then place down a narrow brick or two narrow brick slabs and two narrow brick top slabs like that to go ahead and finish it off. Again, on this side here, we're going to place down our item frame, our green terracotta block, and a sign on the side there. Again, if you're on Java, Java is the only version that you're able to place down item frames and signs in the same block space. So if you are on a different version, you'll have to unfortunately use a uh, just the item frame and just the green terracotta block um, as a... Um, as basically just the basis there. You won't be able to add that sign. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of dark prismarine top slabs across this space here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to place down a temporary row of blocks across the top here uh, of this space here. And underneath here, we're going to be placing down grindstones all the way along the bottom of those blocks. And uh, you want to make sure they're all facing the same direction. And just like that, connected to the top of those blocks. And then we'll just delete those blocks like that. And we have our uh, bogey wheels set up. 
Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Dark Prismarine, we're gonna go off this top sub, uh, one, two, and three uh, Dark Prismarine top subs, and we're gonna go ahead and set up the same design we did on the other side for our tracks, just over here to this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this a little bit quicker as I've already explained the other tracks or the other side in great detail, and really all you're doing is the same exact thing. So just go ahead and copy the other side over to this side, and if you need to, you can pause the video, slow it down, um, whatever you need. And just like that, again, we have our item frames. And then we have our green uh, terracotta. It's going to go in the item frames like that. And a dark oak would sign on the side there again for my Java players. And of course, we'll do our blocks across the top here. And underneath those, we're going to be going ahead and placing down our grindstones. So we have our grindstones all the way across the bottom here. Like so. And just like that, we have those bogey wheels done, and we can delete these blocks up on top here. Now, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then take our Dark Prismarine top slabs, and we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three across this to make this a total of a row of five, like that. And actually, we're going to place down one more row of three forward, so it should look like this here. We then just want to fill in the spaces in between our rows of three of Dark Prismarine with our Dark Prismarine top slabs, and this is just going to go ahead and completely fill in the bottom here of the vehicle. And... Once you have that all filled in, this is what it's going to look like from the top down view. And that is going to include everything we have there for layer one. And with that, we'll be moving on to our next layer, which will be layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. This is for layer two to start with. We're going to place down two green terracotta blocks on top of these two uh, nether break ups downstairs. And we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls coming out the front of those blocks. We then want to take our green terracotta, and we're just going to run a row of green terracotta all the way along the side here over the top of the grindstones and all the way to the back of the snare brick slab. We're going to do the same thing right next to it. So you're going to have two rows like this going across. And we're going to go ahead and just do the same thing over here on the far side as well. So just like that, getting that all filled in. Now across the back here, we're going to go ahead and then place down two dark prismarine ups and down stairs. On both sides. And then we want to go ahead and grab a dark oak with sign. And we're going to place down a dark oak with sign that's going to go on the side of the stair on the side there. Then we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across that middle space between those stairs. And we're going to go ahead and follow this up with a row of three of green stained glass panes. On that middle glass pane, we're going to place down an item frame. And in that item frame, we're going to place down a tripwire hook and rotate it so it faces downwards. On the sides here for the tracks, we're going to place down two dark oak with trap doors, then three green stained glass panes, and then dark oak with trap doors all the way to the very front of the build, like that. And same thing we done over here on this side as well. And then we have our three green stained glass panes and then our two trap doors like that going back. So that's going to finish it off there along the side. Now once that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of two of dark prismarine slabs here for the front. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, smoker that's going to sit right here. Then a green terracotta block. And then to the side here, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a green shulker box on its side with an end rod coming off like that. Then we're just going to fill in the remaining space, uh, but in the middle here, just with green terracotta. This could be used for interior space if you so choose, but for our tutorial here, we're just going to go ahead and fill that completely in. And once we have that all done there, that is going to wrap up everything we have for layer number um, two. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number three. Moving into our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three to start with, we're going to place down a row of two of dark prismarine slabs on both sides here. We then want to place down a row of two of end portal frames on both sides. And we're going to go ahead and continue these uh, rows of two of frames going all the way back along the side here of the uh, tank until we get to the last row of green terracotta blocks right before those stairs. So we're just going to do the same thing over here on this side as well. So just like that. Then on the sides here above those glass panes, we're going to place down wither skeleton skulls to both sides. And then we're going to place down green manners on the rest of the uh, end portal frames. And the same thing will be done over here on this side as well. After that, on the back here, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves zombie heads. And we're going to place down two zombie heads to each side. And then we're going to place down a row of three of our polished diorite slabs like that. 
And I did accidentally get rid of our item frame here, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that real quick. Uh, but we have that item frame on the back there like that. Then after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of dark prismarine slabs across. Then a row of three of mossy cobblestone walls. And then we want to place down a row of one and two dark prismarine stairs to both sides. And then a dark prismarine corner stair coming off those stairs. We're also going to go ahead and place down three uh, of these slabs of dark prismarine in the center here. Then once we get to this point, we're going to place down a green terracotta block. And then a dark prismarine stair like this to both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of green terracotta across. A second row of three. And then a row of three of dark prismarine stairs like so. We're going to go ahead and place down another row of three of dark prismarine slabs. And then we're going to place down a dark prismarine stair to both sides there. And a dark prismarine slab there in the exact center to go ahead and finish off the front of the tank there. So that is what it's going to look like there from the front. And uh, we're also going to throw on an item frame here, which I did forget from, I believe, layer one. But there should be an item frame off that center uh, slab. And we're just going to go ahead and place down an end rod in it and flick it downwards like that. So pretty simple stuff there. Um, so yeah, again, that's going to complete everything we have for layer three. And with that, we'll be moving on to layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to start with, we're going to place down an anvil on top of this stair here. And then we're going to place down a green terracotta block to both sides of it. We're going to go ahead and then take our dark prismarine slabs. We're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, top slabs forward. And then we're going to place down a polished blackstone uh, top slab on the very end here. We're going to place down dark oak wood signs to the sides of that polished blackstone slab as well as an item frame here on the front of a black concrete in the item frame and then a polished blackstone, or uh, sorry, a dark oak wood sign on the side of the polished blackstone slab if you are on Java. After that, going back to our turret, we're going to place down a row of two of, sorry, row of three of green terracotta and a second row right after that. We're going to go ahead and follow this up with a dark oak wood trap door to the side of both sides of this first row of three. And then we want to place down a green stained glass pane to both sides of your second row. Like that. Then we're going to place down a green terracotta block in the center, which will be followed with a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. And then another green terracotta block back down the center and a green stained glass pane to both sides like that. After we have that done, also on the back here, I did forget to include it, but we're going to place down our, uh, ex our fuel tank here. We're going to place down a green terracotta block, then a green shulker box, to both sides, an item frame on top, and a green terracotta block in the item frame. We'll also go ahead and grab ourselves levers, and we're going to place down levers on the bottom of these shulker boxes, and just make sure we open those toward the glass panes there for that fuel tank there. And that is going to wrap up everything we have for layer number four of the build, and with that we'll be going ahead and moving into our last final layers. Moving into our final layers, we have layers five through ten. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a row of three of dark prismarine across the space here, and then one, two, three green carpet forward, and then a dark oak wood slab there for the main gun. We're going to go and then grab ourselves end portal frames, we're going to place down a row of three across, and then a, another row of three of green terracotta across, like that. We're going to place down a dark oak wood sign to both sides of our shulker block or our um m portal frames and then we want to place down a green stained glass pane coming off both sides of this row of three of blocks we're going to place down another green terracotta block here and then a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides this will be followed up with a m portal frame on the back and then to the sides of the m portal frame we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head like that to both sides on the top here of the turret, we're going to place down an item frame on these two green terracotta blocks, a glass pane on the right in the right item frame, and a green terracotta block in the left one. We then want to go ahead and take flower pots, and we're going to place down flower pots on top of these two end portal frames. And then lastly, on the back here, we're going to go ahead and grab a dark oak fence post and iron bars. We're going to place down three iron bars that go up from this wall. So one, two, three. And on the other side, we're going to place down a dark oak fence post and go up one, two, three, and four. So that right there is going to make your radio antennas. And with that, that's going to wrap up my design here. Um, one thing you can also do for my Java players is we can actually mess with the properties here of these glass panes and actually extend the glass panes in the directions like this to the side to kind of help expand or kind of make it fill in this area a little bit better. This can be obtained by type grabbing our debug stick, which can be obtained by using the command slash give at P, Minecraft, colon debug underscore stick so this is the command here press and enter will give you this glowing stick and we can just left click this until we get our direction that we want to go ahead and 
uh, alter it. So you may have to mess around with it and yours may be different depending on the orientation of your vehicle in your world. But we can just extend the glass panes to kind of fill in those spaces there and just kind of makes it look a little bit better uh, on the sides there of the turret. And that's gonna be again more of a Java feature as it is not a feature available on um, other versions other than Java. Uh, however, though, that right there is going to wrap up my tutorial here for the Churchill Mark III uh, heavy tank. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This could be a link from a sign of the build to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free as a fair project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build and have fun with it and all that fun stuff. Um, and with that, that's going to wrap up this build. Thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I will see you guys next time.